this I think I've used this one before in the past but I'm I'm gonna use it again see so I like this scene it's it's a little bit of water that runs alongside Mill Pool at Kingsbury so I think it's a nicely balanced composition with a bit of foreground horizon line nicely a third of the way up we've got our trees either side framing it some nice reflections and a nice lighter area uh, well, I'll, see, I'll see how I get on anyway let's have a look at the um, materials got the familiar palette ultramarine blue, lemon yellow Payne's grey, lizard and crimson, raw sienna burnt umber and light red Below there we've got our three brushes, three quarter inch flat, large one ransom oak, number three rigger, bit of tissue, in okay, case so I want to take some of the paint off, got our collapsible water jar, um, got our Cutman watercolour tubes which are dry on the palette, ready to go, 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper, weighs £130 and it's clipped to a 9mm piece of plywood with these big big clips which hold it firmly in place so let's start as usual by giving the paper some nice lubrication just clean water and then I'm just going to dip the tips of the ache in again just to bring the hairs back together and I'm going to go raw sienna Bit of light red, these are in crimson. Bit of this, bit of that, whatever. Just, just pick up anything. Bit of yellow, but I'm very wary that that may go green if I'm not careful. I'll keep doing that. Just sort of Clean the brush, ultramarine, ultramarine and a bit of Payne's grey and then again I'm trying, whoops, didn't mean to do that, um, let's just cover that up, I think I've covered that up. repair job a bit darker I'm just trying to get these dark edges and then get a bit darker up there and it's maybe a bit of burnt umber as well It's a cloud, some up there. A few bits up there. Obviously, it always works better in the uh, the darker areas. Get more contrast. So obviously, the darker you can get it on. The more your clouds just stand out. So I don't I'm not sure anymore. Maybe a bit, a bit brighter. Just gonna dab a bit harder. That's enough of the background. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip the tips in again, just to bring the ears back together, like so. And then I'm gonna back into those sky colours, which was pretty much everything, but I'm gonna sort of lean towards raw sienna. And burnt or an ultramarine. And then let's say it was about a third of the way up, so now I want it a bit darker than that. More paint, less water. And then 
dropping down the reflection as I'm going along. It sort of drops down a bit and then a bit bigger there. Again, pull down the reflections. You see how it's going a bit dry there now, so I've lost that sort of soft edge, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Watch the pools of water gathering at the bottom of the page. And now I'm going to introduce just a bit of a bit more lemon yellow on the sides. All down the reflections, yeah, a little, uh, just a little bit there, I think. And then the other trees now are a bit closer, so paper stretched a bit. So undo the clips, pull it tight, refix it on this uh, right hand side, and then once it's flat, I can get cracking. As again, but. I'm just looking it down now, it's still wet, so I can still put in some slightly closer. I haven't cleaned the brush, I'm now just giving raw sienna. Coming further down the page now, because these are a bit closer. Burnt umber, I mean ultramarine. And again, pulling that down. And because the paper's still wet, so it's dried there in the middle, but it's still wet here on the edge, so I can get a, I can still get these sort of soft reflections. Um, what, what am I after now? Maybe a bit of light red, light red, burnt umber. You see how it's changing colour now. A bit of ultramarine, just to finish off that side. Pull down the reflections. I'm going to try and make sure that they're level. Maybe the odd bit of scraping a few little trunks and twigs and stuff. And then obviously pull down the reflections as well. Just out with the uh, Make that water a bit more convincing. Now moving over to the left hand side, it's a little bit more green. So again, I haven't, but I still haven't cleaned the brush. Just giving into green there. Yeah, and putting down those reflections. A bit more blue. A bit of more ultramarine. Pull them down. And then maybe finish off with a bit of raw sienna. And again, pulling down the reflections. Switch to the rigger. Do you want the rigger? No, I might leave it at that for now. As far as that completes the background. So I'm going to give that a quick dry. bank like a mud bank on this left hand side so there's no need to clean the brush I'm just dipping the tips in just to bring the hairs back together and then I'm going sort of burnt umber burnt umber ultramarine lemon yellow and we've got like a whole variety of colours now on the brush I mean it's just quick pull it down Keep varying that colour. A little bit of a reflection there. And I'm going to go nice and dark. Put the trunks in there, those big trees. There's a few, they're going up here, sort of thing. So it's a sort of. Just using the side of the hike. You can use the. Uh, Use the rigging if you want, but obviously this way is a lot quicker. Just making 
making sure that the bottom, the base is a nice, big enough to support these uh, big trees. Switch to the rigger, same colours, burnt umber, ultramarine, plenty of water. And just, just extend some of these out. Back to the um, the hike. I'm just burnt umber, ultramarine blue, nice chisel edge like that. down there just coming off the top of the page there's like a few just these must go right up to the top and come right the way down the bottom again back to the rigger I don't actually need any more than this I don't think it might be a smaller one up there That'll do. That's it. Comes around something like that. fallen sticks and branches that have fell into the water. See the bot, just the odd little bit of little stones and stuff. I'm trying to keep this subtle, as subtle as I can. I mean, somewhere up amongst the trees.
let's have a, let's have a closer look. So here's our finished painting. Let's have a see how it compares to the uh, photograph. You can see composition wise it's 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 very similar. The only real difference I've made is that uh sort of sunny glow on the uh, horizon line reflected into the water down the middle somewhere and you can see all those nice reflections in the water that I've tried to uh, replicate so you can see by putting the background in quickly while the paper's still wet you can just pull the reflection straight down makes it look like, uh, look like proper water and these trees on either side make a nice natural frame along with a foreground shore area. It's very simple to do with the uh, side of the hike and then just use the uh, the rigger just to um, put in the finer branches. And a few little rocks and pebbles in the foreground just to help break up the uh, the mud banks well I hope you like that thanks for watching keep practicing any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon